Hola. What is a zero carbon future? What does it look like? To imagine, turn off your heater, no airports, no shipping, no animals. Perfect surveillance state. A report recently came out of UK. This document is called Absolute Zero. This report describes how we will, by 2050, reduce carbon emissions to zero. Hola, from Colombia. With the present great world confusion, I wish to do my part to accelerate the evolution of human consciousness. Please help by subscribing and sharing these videos. Thank you. Joe Biden wants zero emissions by 2050, but time is ticking. So how will the country have to change over the next 30 years? By looking more closely at the Absolute Zero report, you can decide for yourself if this is a good plan for humanity. 1. Road Vehicles 2020-2029 Development of petrol, diesel engine ends. 2030-2049 all new vehicles are electric and average size of cars a thousand kilograms 2050 absolute zero road use at 60 percent of 2020 levels a vehicle miles tax is suggested to further raise the gas tax for infrastructure projects two rail 2020 to 2029 Growth in domestic and international rail as substitute for flights and low occupancy car travel. 2030 to 2049, further growth and expanded networks and all electric trains. Rail becomes dominant mode for freight as shipping declines. 2050, absolute zero. Electric trains, the preferred mode of travel for people and freight over all significant distances. Biden wants you out of your car and on the train. The president's two trillion infrastructure boosts funding for buses and rail. It even envisions actually tearing down some freeways. Here is a map of the new routes that are being added in light blue. This map coincides nicely with the emerging Mega Regions map that came out of America 2050 project. This is a map of the smart cities that are being created and kicking people out of the rural areas and off their land. 3. Flying 2020 to 2029. All airports except Heathrow. Glasgow and Belfast closed with transfers by rail. 2030 to 2049, all remaining airports closed. 2050, absolute zero, zero air travel. Beyond 2050, electric planes may fly with synthetic fuel. But don't worry, because if you're rich, of course you can continue to travel by air. John Kerry flew on private jet to accept climate award. Only choice for somebody like me. Number four, shipping. 2020 to 2029. There are currently no freight ships operating without emissions, so shipping must contract. 2030 to 2049. All shipping declines to zero. 2050, absolute zero, zero shipping. Beyond 2050, some naval ships operate. Time for a logistics rethink after Suez Canal grounding. Number five, heating, 2020 to 2029. Electric heat pumps replace gas boilers. 2030 to 2049, programmed to provide all interior heat pumps and energy retrofits 
for all buildings. 2050, absolute zero. Heating powered on for 60% of today's use. Berkeley becomes first U.S. city to ban natural gas in new homes. Wood burners, most polluting fuels to be banned in the home. Number six, appliances. 2020 to 2029. Gas cookers phased out rapidly in favor of electric ovens. Fridge, freezers, and washing machines become smaller. 2030 to 2049. Electrification of all appliances and reduction in size to cut power requirement. 2050, absolute zero. All appliances meet stringent efficiency standards to use 60% of today's energy. Number seven, food, the most important category here. 2020 to 2029, national consumption of beef and lamb drops by 50% along with reduction in frozen ready meals and air freighted food imports. 2030 to 2049, beef and lamb phase out along with all imports not transported by train. Fertilizer use greatly reduced. 2050, absolute zero. Total energy required to cook or transfer food reduced to 60% of today's energy. Bill Gates wants rich countries to move to 100% synthetic beef. Mm. Sorry, steak lovers, Australia's running out of cows. Number eight, mining material sourcing, 2020 to 2029. Reduce demand for iron ore and limestone as blast furnace and cement reduces. 2050, absolute zero. Demand for scrap steel and ores for electrification much higher, no iron ore or limestone used. Number nine, materials production, 2020 to 2029. Steel recycling grows while cement and blast furnace iron reduce. 2050, absolute zero. All material production electric with total 60% power availability compared to 2020. Number 10, construction. 2020 to 2029, reduced cement supply compensated by improved material efficiency. New steel replaced by recycled steel. 2050, absolute zero. Any cement must be reduced in closed loop. New building highly optimized for material saving. Number 11, manufacturing. 2020 to 2029, material efficiency prominent as material supply contracts. 2030 to 2049, most goods made with 50% as much material. 12, electricity. 2020 to 2029, Wind and solar supplies grow as rapidly as possible. 2030 to 2049. Fourfold increase in renewable generation from 2020. All non electrical motors and heaters phased out. 2050, absolute zero. All energy supply is now on electricity. Number 13, fossil fuels. 2020 to 2029, rapid reduction in supply and use of all fossil fuels, except for plastic production. 2030 to 2049, fossil fuels completely phased out. 2050, absolute zero, zero fossil fuels. France is the first country on earth to ban all oil and gas production from 2040. Here are a few more interesting nuggets from the World Economic 
Forum. The Global Water Initiative, which is water allocation and control. What the COVID-19 pandemic teaches us about cybersecurity and how to prepare for the inevitable global cyber attack. This is not a world that I want to live in. The question is, do you? We only need a relatively small critical mass of awakened individuals who have made the decision to be in contact and communion with their soul through daily conscious action. We are in the midst of this pivotal time where the old world is still apparent as the new divine matter grows within our very bodies. The time has come for the next step of human destiny, the new idesic species. Will you choose to align yourself with the divine plan or the Luciferian plan? Due to my peaceful non-cooperation, I went to prison. I describe my prison experience in my book, True Freedom is Inside of Me. Please visit my bilingual website. The only solution is very simple. I must connect to my true self, my soul. Easy to say, not at all easy to do. Please go into action now and make your choice between listening to your ego mendacious mind and the external authorities or listening to your soul, the internal authority. I consult and offer tools so that you can find your individual solution by making contact with your soul. Your soul will then effectively guide you through the upcoming long-lasting turbulent transition. Infinite love.